Hey guys, time for another movie review, and this week is Jumanji. Yay! Uh, this movie was made back in 1995 or so, when I was just a really little kid, and yeah, it scared the crap out of me. So the deal with Jumanji is, back in 1869, these two kids buried this game. A hundred years later, a kid named Alan Parrish finds it, not before getting beat up by the jealous freak of a kid, and not before getting the only black guy in his dad's shoe company fired for a stupid freak accident that he caused by putting the shoe that the black guy designed on his conveyor belt that was running. It was going super slow, and I don't know why the guy didn't have his eye on it in the first place, but anyway. It goes boom, gets fired, I think, and then his dad and him, yeah, they have some emotional conflict between them. It isn't resolved until the very end of the movie, but anyway, after they're done having a little screaming match, he plays the game with this girl, and I think it's the ex-girlfriend of the guy that he got beat up by, and then he gets sucked into the game, she gets scared, she runs off because these bats come down the chimney and scare her off. And then 26 years later, these kids move in with their aunt, they find the game in the attic, they start playing it, Things happen, lots of animals come out, monkeys come out. Those monkeys scared the crap out of me, man. When I was little, holy crap. They're just not normal monkeys, man. These monkeys are weird. But anyway, the kid rolls a five or something that makes Robin Williams, a guy named Alan Parrish, jumps out of the game, but he doesn't really jump out of the game. He just appears with his lion, and they're like, woo! And then they have to finish this game, so they have to find that chick that was playing the game before because they can't finish the game without her. And then they eventually finish the game, and everything disappears, and everyone's happy. So at the very end of the movie, everything wraps up pretty clean, I guess. Everything goes backwards back 26 years ago because they, when they started the game, that means once they finished it, after 26 years, everything went back to normal. So everything was erased, and then they went back to 1969. But they remembered everything that happened in that 26 years. So they kind of tried to make it so that those things never happened again, like those kids who lived with their aunt. Their parents died in a freak accident in Canada, apparently, in a skiing trip in the Rocky Mountains, which is kind of funny, because I live in Canada, but whatever. Anyway, so they had their parents come over because they're, I guess they live in New Hampshire already, for some weird reason. I don't know how they got there. Anyway, they're with their kids, and they're like, hey, we're going to go on a ski trip on so-and-so date, and we're going to go skiing in the Rocky Mountains. Yeah? And they're like, no! And they're like, why? And they're like, cuz. And then they're like, okay. So that happens, and I thought that was kind of funny, but anyway, this movie, you know, overall, I wouldn't say it's a very good movie to watch again as an adult, but, you know, when I was a kid, I thought it was really neat, but it scared the crap out of me at the same time, but I thought it was really neat, too, because it's a board game, you know, kids love board games. I still love board games, but, you know, it's not that kind of movie that I want to watch over and over again, and it wasn't very good in that sense, you know. Anyway, so I'd probably give this movie a good... 6 out of 10 just because it was sort of entertaining and it brought back memories. But I wouldn't really recommend it to anyone else. But, you know, it's still a pretty good movie to watch every once in a while. But, you know, not very often. So I hope you enjoyed this movie review. And I hope you have a good day. And I'll see you guys next week.